This is a preview of our 3rd and 4th of November granary sale. We're just going to have a quick look around the top floor, which is all the collectible section first. Just a whistle-stop tour of some of the main interesting things that we've seen. And we'll start on the wall here, which is the first of the picture section, which is an original 1950s poster, um, Eat More Fruit and Keep Fit and it's in immaculate condition. Um, it would have been a grocer's sign, I, I should think, and it's nicely modern framed, and it should be maybe around £100 or so, something like that. A lot of interesting pictures this time. Here's another exceptionally fine watercolour by Kate Whitley, um, which is a watercolour. It looks photographic in detail. All those seashells there. Um, again, that probably will be around 100 or so. Um, masses of pictures, in, about a hundred lots of pictures this time. Um, past the musical instruments section. Modern saxophone, old violins and a didgeridoo on the end there. Um, there is so much to look through this sale. Here's where the sale starts on this table here. And there's some really nice um, sort of interesting, maybe some gift ideas for Christmas coming up. So there's a Victorian Tantalus which is the decanters at the back, and you open the lids at the front so that you can get to the decanters, so that locks them up. That's rather nice with a drawer underneath it. So that'll be probably 150 to 200 pounds for that one, in quite good condition. There's a, an old games compendium here with chess men and draftsmen and boxes and games boards, all nice in one box there. Again, probably 150 to 200. And very nice WMF, um, German Art Nouveau table centres here. Unfortunately, the blue glass liner is broken in this one. It's the original one as well. Great shame. But this one, the actual basket is in fair condition. This one is in very good condition. Um, some very nice Victorian claret jugs here. That's another nice, nice thing to put on the, on the dining table. It's a plated top and it's in good condition as well. So that'll be around 100. Um, lots of interesting items on the tables and boxes and some Troika pottery here. So there's two of those. They're identical designs, just slightly different colouring, but they're both original pieces of Troika and they should be estimated at around 100, 150. Uh, I think these are really nice. They're table centre bowls. Uh, look at that hand-blown glass. You can see the uh, sort of swirl lines from where they've been, where they've been blown like that and we're selling the pair in one lot there. They were very expensive when they were new. Um, there's an original Fry's chocolate sign on the wall there, which will probably be 150 to 200 pounds. Some really good Victorian ceramics here, cabinet pieces, absolutely immaculate, most of these, and all hand painted and gilded, all sold in some small group lots, but um, best to look at those on the website, I should think. And then we've got model ships here, the Titanic, which is in a cabinet, cabinet that all lights up, more model boats and a half hull to hang on the wall, and some lovely, look at these decorative items here, we've got um, top hats and filing boxes and condensed milk vintage crate and an 18th century Bible box, really nice little collection of items there. Um, we'll keep moving because there's a lot to show you this time. In the cabinet here, again full of interesting items, on the top here are George Jensen pieces. These are modern, you can buy these now from the Jensen shop. There's a carafe, that um, will set you back about £150 if you bought it from the website. Um, this one here is, is lovely, a lovely shape that is. That's. Um, and that, I'm not sure how much that one is, but it's brand new condition in its box. And loads of other interesting items on the, in the cabinets here. Lots of silver and jewellery this month. And we'll keep moving down here. And what have we got? Lots of interesting ceramics and... Look at that lovely bowl there. Rootwood um, table centre bowl and light fittings and look at this magnificent um, 
<laughs> to go in the centre of the dining table. Can you imagine bringing that out for your dinner guests on Christmas Day? <laughs> <laughs> serving up your sprouts in the <laughs> that's amazing unfortunately it has a crack <laughs> and I don't mean the one on the back it has one in the lid as well <laughs> and actually this is magnificent we will be hanging this, this up on the wall a very exp expensive it's a reproduction but it's a machine embroidery and it has the wall hanging pole as well these cost a fortune. They, they are, I think this is probably close to 2,000 or so if you wanted to buy that one. Uh, we've got about four of these in this sale of different sizes from a beautiful house that we collected those from. And the ornaments and ceramics just go on and on. And this, there's just so much to look through in this sale. Um, what we're going to do is just show you the furniture downstairs because it's really well worth a glance and there's some really fabulous garden ornaments this time as well so we'll carry on downstairs. So right inside the front door is this amazing um, Victorian um, iron bound offertory box from a church. Someone's um, lifted it <laughs> from, from the floor but that's a great thing to have um, inside the front door at home isn't it? All with iron bands and it's it's a, I haven't seen another one for sale here, but um, a really nice feature. There's a, a Christmas tree here that is made of um, a, uh, it's really a drying rack for wine bottles, but um, it has a lot of green bottles and it's now a Christmas tree and it has lights as well. Masses of rugs in this time, so a lot of, lot of uh, nice rugs, but they're best viewed on the website, but that's the pile of rugs there. And then we'll just, whiz down through the room here just to show you the sort of quantity that we are selling this time. Uh, <laughs> try not to knock it over. But um, <laughs> it's like an obstacle course. And gosh. There's just so much furniture this time. And there's a piano and uh, I think the best way to look at this really is to just browse through the website. Um, but there's a lot of contemporary furniture, um, designer furniture, some very good named stuff as well. And it's really a sea of furniture in here, but it's on the website, it looks fantastic. It's all against a white backdrop and really best browsed through there. Um, it's a fabulous, look at this uh, standard lamp here. And that's floor standing as well. It looks like a student's angle poise, but it's, but it stands on the floor. That's a beautiful thing. Okay, we'll have a look downstairs now because that's where a lot of the garden things are. So we'll, we'll carry on again. This has got to be one of the more unusual items that we've ever sold here. This, believe it or not, is a hanging light fitting or a chandelier um, made up of um, um, gramophone horns. <laughs> so this whole thing hangs from this chain. And there are light fittings in each one. An amazing thing. <laughs> it's a lovely uh, Victorian pine uh, sort of chemist chest here, or haberdashery chest. That's all one unit there. Be a great sort of kitchen item. Oh, this is worth looking at. This is a lovely garden set. So this is um, bronze, actually. So you've got a garden table and what are there? Six, eight chairs. Is it eight, two, four, no, six of these very nice X-framed seats to match. That's a fabulous set there. Would have cost, would have cost thousands when that was new. Uh, all quite nicely weathered now. And most of the garden ornaments this time are from one manor house that we cleared. And if you look down the row here, there's some beautiful weathered, um, some of it's concrete and some of it's stoneware. Um, all these urns and troughs, these lovely uh, relief molded troughs here. Um, I think that's being sold as a pair of these. They're fabulous. And then these other tulip shaped or campana shaped urns are being sold in pairs, I think. And then there's a, looks like a single one here. That's a, people love these when they have this lichen aging on them. It's all natural aging. They've been sat in a garden for years. Fabulous thing. And here is a board of ordnance um, cast iron trough dated 1831. So it's a really heavy piece of cast iron that you need a trolley to move it. But it has this raised plaque on the front as well. 
um, and then very nicely weathered concrete lions as well a couple of those and a musical cherub on a pedestal so most of these from one house so there's a really good lot of garden furniture there there's again lots more furniture to look through nice planned chest here and all sorts of things um, masses to look through but I would say oh look at this um, bench as well this is nice so this is a it's not an original Colbrook Dale but um, couldn't get much more weather than that and that's come out of a local house we cleared so that'll probably be 150 to 200 or so it's not cast iron this one it's just uh, probably an aluminium one I should think um, but yeah well worth a look through but I should have a scour through the website or even better come and have a look in person viewing is this Saturday from 9 till 1 Monday from 9 till 5 Tuesday from 9 till 6 and then the sales on the Wednesday Thursday both start at 9 in the morning on the dot so it's a, an early start but there's a, over a thousand lots to get through on day one on the top floor and probably about seven or eight hundred lots to get through of furniture so hope to see you here thank you very much